is squat. Um, we will be using a standard 25 pound bar for all of the lifters on Saturday. Um, most of the time, the USPA does use a 55 pound bar, men's bar for the 181 pound class and up. To keep things simple and consistent, we're going to be using a regular Texas bar for all of the lifting. So squat is first. If you do not hit at least one of the three squats, you will be disqualified. Um, you're allowed to keep benching but, or, and then deadlifting, but basically if this was a real meet, your scores wouldn't count. Um, it's what we call bombing out. So you want to make sure you at least hit one of each of the three. So for the squat, um, once the Nova, sit. Once the weights are done, we're going to call platform ready, and that gives you 60 seconds to get under the bar and take it out of the rack. It does not mean you have to complete the squat in that time, it just means you have to have it out of the rack. There will be three judges, one in front and one to each of the sides. So platform's ready, you're going to go up, get under the bar, step it out. Once the bar is motionless, that's when I'm going to call squat. When it's motionless again at the top, I'm going to call it rack. Each of you has those hand signals. Those, that's only two commands for the squat. What we're looking for in the squat, go ahead and stand up and come over here. Just face the camera. So I'm looking for hip crease. Go ahead and squat down. So your hip crease must fall below the line of your knee. So that is a good squat. Yes, it cannot. That is not good. And go ahead a little bit farther down. Parallel does not count. It must be hip crease below the knees. So if we were drawing a line, we are below the knees. Everybody has a slight anatomical difference. Um, so make sure over this next week, maybe you do some practice squats and you record to see if your hip crease is falling below your knee. Um, because high squats are going to be called as no lifts. Each of the side judges will be looking at um, the depth as well as the bar path. One more thing with the bar path. Go ahead and take it out. When you're squatting, if you go down and then once upward motion starts, if there's any downward motion, that's a no lift. If, once you start to go up, you must continue to lift and go up. Um, if you miss the squat by jumping the commands, that's this is what that might look like. Squat. Rack. Those are all my lifts. He squatted and racked before I gave him the command. So you have to be patient. Wait for the judges to give you the commands. If you have any other questions with squat, you don't have to wear squat shoes if you don't want to. Um, you don't have to wear wrist wraps or any gear. This is a mock meet. And same thing with a rail meet. You don't have to wear those things if you don't want to. If you have any other questions, particularly on the squat, please let me know. We will be determining rack heights in the morning before the meet starts.